Alright, what's going on guys, Luke here with another PvP build for the Fison patch on my stem crit this time with an immense amount of burst damage with front bar Hotka, stunning or immobilizing your enemy cause them to burst with frost magic, apply the chip status effect and dealing 13% of their total physical and spell resistance as frost damage and has even an 8 meter radius, only 7 seconds cooldown. So as soon as we stun an enemy with scythe or Dawnbreak of Smiting, we gain around a 2.5 to 3k burst damage on top. Really nice. Back bar for even more burst damage. Clever Alchemist. When you drink a potion during combat, you feel a rush of energy. Increase your weapon spell damage by over 660 insane amount of weapon spell damage. A Smithic Sea Serpent Skull for Major Berserk, Major Courage. And sadly the 40% snare, but the damage boost with this mythic is brutal. If you don't like the 40% snare, just go with Marku in this mythic. S filler, one trainee for XHP, and Balog for even more penetration weapon damage as Monster said. I'm on 4 heavy pieces, and 3 medium, 2 well fitted, 1 sturdy, and for Impen, full prismatic glyphs, full infused on the jewel with full weapon damage enchantments. Sustain is not an issue, but if you feel like sustain is kinda low, go with one prismatic region glyph, front bar hot gas small, a 2H in sharpened with the berserker glyph for extra weapon damage, Y2H simply for the major brutality buff, and for ready a spell steal, and back bar sword and board. Powered sturdy with the escape poisons. Skills front bar Karma Hunter for major savagery, minor berserk, and slayer, extra weapon spell damage. Stalking blast bones, still the magic come off, deals more damage. I still prefer scythe, sets uh, also the enemy of balance for exploiter, which gives another 10% extra damage. And we can stun the enemy after setting him off balance with a medium or heavy attack afterwards. And on top, it even applies the hemorrhaging status effect, which decreases the enemy's HP with minor mango. And last but not least, it even heals you. A pretty decent burst here, depends on how many targets you hit. Then Mortikoi from Magicka and Stamina region and a ton of healing. Ready, like I said, this burst here, major brutality and minor dunes, 15% extra stamina region. Dawnwake of Smiting as ultimate. Back bar card drops for major breach and a 50% snare. Alternative for a little bit more penetration with minor breach, go with plus armor, especially for one ones. Race against time, a snare removal for major expedition and minor force. Vega selfie and for 3k armor. Summoner's armor resistance buff. Spirit guardian for 10% extra damage mitigation and a good amount of feeding. And spell wall as defense ultimate. Race, Dark Elf for weapon spell damage, Max Stamina and Magicka. Better option is Imperial or Nord for a little bit more tankiness. Mundus, the Serpent for extra stamina region, as buff food smoke damage, since the hybrid meta, one of my favorite buff foods. Then attribute points 64 in stamina, we are already at 33k HP on the back bar and 32k on the front bar. Simply because of Clever, gives 2 times HP and Rotka another HP bonus. Pretty nice. Potions, the Tricer Potions. CPs, Biting Ore, Master Dumps, Exploiter, and Iron Knight. If you feel too squishy, you can go with Dubus Rebuff instead of Exploiter. Red CPs, Sustain for Suffering, Slippery, Sedavity, and Pains Refuge. Next up is the combination. Pre-buff yourself with Rally and Race Against Time. Then Caltrops into Stalking Blast Bones, Scythe and Dawnbreaker. If Dawnbreaker is not up, don't worry, you can still stun the enemy with Scythe. Scythe sets the enemy off balance, means you can just medium or heavy attack afterwards to stun the enemy. That's it with another PvP build. Thanks for watching, have a nice day as you hopefully in the next video. Peace.
Go! <laughs> 
Searching for the moments I'm a little less 20, a little less 25. 